If you set your goals ridiculously high and it's a failure, you will fail above everyone else's success. Chess friends, today I am excited to share an incredible game of 12 years old prodigy Magnus Carlsen where he sacrificed his queen, this is the best chess game that has ever made chess history, let's get started, 12 years old Magnus boy opened the game with e4, we have e5 knight f3 knight f6 and the popular Rui Lopez opening, knight f6 and the game transferred into the Columbus variation of Morphe defense, where many 1500 to 1800 rated players capture the e-pawn, white can respond it with d4. Many players prefer to capture it, but there is amazing move rook e1, pinning the knight, different elo rated players choose different types of move but the best move is to play f5, I am showing you the alternative move, if d5 happen then knight takes e4 will arrive to pressure the knight on c6, but the real problem with black is that f3 is a threat, so 1200 elo rated player might think of playing bishop e7, blundering on c6 where he will lose the rook, so best move for black is to play bishop d6. Don't be afraid of knight takes c6, because you are a stockfish subscriber, we will sacrifice the bishop on h2, if white captures it then after queen h4 check, black will successfully save his game by drawing the game, back to the position, if white decided not to take the bishop and play king h1, then queen h4 will arrive with a dangerous threat, white have to play the best move otherwise he will lose, if you think knight e5 is the best move to make a discover check, king here then knight f3 will come. Then it will be a checkmate after knight takes e2, so in this position, best move for white is to sacrifice the rook, d takes e4, then queen d8 check, forcing black to do queen exchanges, king takes bishop and look at the position, white will enjoy a comfortable position with bishop pair, black have a weakness on e4. Happiness is making the most of what you have, and riches is making the most of what you've got, so back to the position, we have b5 bishop b3 bishop to e7, rook e1 and e6, Magnus played c3, he want to play d4 h3 bishop c2 and queen d3, making a battery to target to the king side, for this reason he will try to eliminate this f6 knight, on the other hand black will try to advance his queenside army and the light square bishop have many squares to go. So after castle h3 knight a5 we have bishop c2 to activating the bishop on this diagonal, c5 d4 queen c7 knight d2, this knight blocks the pieces activity, but he have a nice strategy to develop in kingside to control these important key squares, knight h4 knight f5 is a logical strategy to attack on this center pawn, we have knight c6 by black which is a mistake, because of this knight Magnus gets the opportunity to push forward his center structure, knight d8, and the queen side hasn't developed yet. Magnus have a great center he gets the another opportunity to play a4, expanding the rook file, rook a7. Knight f1. The big secret in life is that there is no big secret, whatever your goal, you can get there if you're willing to work, so Magnus want to work in the king side with his knight, his opponent tried to block it with g6 which is a another mistake, best move was to play c4, inviting the knight to play knight b4 to c5, getting a great outpost in center to control key light squares, Magnus played bishop to h6, rook e8 knight to g3, b4 can be played in the game so we have knight d7, knight h2, f6. I wouldn't say it's a mistake but I would like to say that, this can be a fatal move if black cannot protect his kingside perfectly, knight f7 is the reason to play f6, this move creates some weakness on these squares and the g6 pawn, so after bishop e3 knight b6 takes takes bishop d3, black can capture the rook but he decides to get the opener file, after queen takes a7 block life consists not in holding good cards but in playing those you hold well, we have queen to e2. There is no immediate threat on these squares, but he is adding pressure to the b-pawn, queen a6 knight to g4, threatening to push the h-pawn as well, therefore black has to capture the knight, but the problem will be overwhelming for black as white will get light square dominance, there is knight takes h5 also which will create a tornado on your position and your king will be fly away, so king g7 bishop c1 and after couple of moves later we have queen e4. Knight g3 was possible in the game but Magnus played that move, c4 rook to f1, Magnus is willing to play f5 and knight h6 to create a black hole in black's position, knight c5 knight h6, we have knight g5 and f4, that's a brilliant move that Magnus Carlsen find in the game, black takes the pawn, takes, 
Magnus can play knight h5 to sacrifice the knight on h5, then push the h-pawn, Magnus creates a deadly bishop queen diagonal with rook file, e5 can be possible in the future. There is an amazing strategy with the bishop by playing bishop d4 check, following by queen takes knight, black will not able to capture the queen because it will be pinned. You must not ever stop being whimsical, and you must not, ever, give anyone else the responsibility for your life, so in this position black decided to sacrifice the bishop on h3, if you are not a stockfish subscriber then you might capture the bishop, blundering the game immediately, but Magnus Carlsen knows that stockfish will make a video of his game 20 years later, so he have to play in stockfish style, we have queen h4 to target the knight, bishop d7 and here he could play knight h5. Let me show you the variation, knight check, takes, e5, you may capture the knight on h6, takes takes takes, king backs and it will be a checkmate in two moves. Nothing in life is to be feared, it is only to be understood. Now is the time to understand more, so that we may fear less, so back to the position, Magnus played the second best move e5, targeting to the pawn with full pressure, so after takes we have. Knight h5 check, king can't go back because of this, also the king can't go back there because of knight takes pawn, so after g takes knight, here you can pause the video and find the best move for Magnus, 1 2 3, ok here 12 year old prodigy Magnus Carlsen sacrificed his queen on g5, takes, rook f7 check, king takes knight rook takes pawn check, what an incredible checkmate by 12 years old Magnus. That's what makes history in chess and I covered the game, so wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.